Welcome back to NAB Show Live. I'm Alex Lindsay here with Leslie Samuel. Hello, sir. How are you doing? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. We're Indeed. having a blast here with we, all this stuff. We are, we are in storage heaven. Storage heaven. And we're going to the next level. But this right here looks a little yeah. more than <laughs> storage heaven. We're here with James <laughs> Chang from QNAP. And, Hi. Uh, hey, how's it going? So tell us a Good. little bit about your, uh, your, your little Fancy toy Fancy device here. Yes. here. Okay, so we're actually announcing our new Thunderbolt uh, series here at NAB. So this is the first world DAS and NAS solution that's out in the market. So this could serve directly as a DAS using Thunderbolt, directly connected to a Mac or a PC. Uh -huh. and, for our, and for our viewers, do you want to define the DAS, DAS and NAS? NAS. Yeah. Okay, DAS basically means direct attached storage. Okay. Right. And NAS is basically network attached storage. Right. So we're actually combining the both the grade of both world into one device. So with the DAS, I'm going directly to my computer. Correct. With the NAS, I'm attached to a network so I can link multiple computers to Correct. it. Correct. Awesome. So, so if you're a video editor, so you could directly connect your Mac PC, Mac directly with the Thunderbolt. Actually, it's right back here. OK. I'll just show you okay. on the back plane. So we can see that right here? Yeah. So right. if you're editing, you can actually get around 500 megabits per second. Oh, nice. Yeah, so you're talking about like a one gig file in less than two seconds. Well, <laughs> and, and, and one of the big advantages there is, is specifically, well, you can tell me, this is yeah. how I see it anyway, <laughs> okay. is that you have an editor and then you have assistants that are, are or other people doing contribution. They're, they're, they're putting stuff onto the drive. The editor has the fast speed that you need to actually do the edits, mm -hmm. but it's everybody else can see the drive and throw things to it. Exactly. Awesome. So the editor, once the editor is finished, everybody on the network, the editor could send out an email, hey guys, I'm finished with my editing. Take a look at what the final result looks like. Or and everyone's going to be, you know, digitizing somewhere else. Exactly. You know, like organizing the files, setting them all up, and then pushing them into folders uh, in the background. Yeah. Uh, sure. You know, without having to come over and get connected. Yeah, correct. So it's actually a very easy, also collaborating, working both in the no lo local network, in the local office, mm -hmm. or even away from the outside of remote offices. Because QNAP, we also have a replication feature. Mm -hmm. So that you can, once the editor is done with their part, they could put it on to say, hey, I want to replicate it to the New York office. So right. we could send out maybe at a nighttime basis, say 9 o'clock uh, to 6 a.m., replicate it over. And once the, the editor comes in, the replication is done. Right. And, and that's it, software that you provide. That's the software we provide. And is that that's controlled on here, or is it controlled on the, on the PC a, and the Mac? It's controlled right on the device here, on, on our control panel. Nice. And we could set up that replication. And that, and that, rep, and that control panel is web-based? It's web-based replication. Right, so yeah. you simply log into this, and, yeah. and you're off to the races. Yeah. Correct. Another cool thing about the QNAP, if you actually notice that on the back, we also have HDMI. Oh. So this unit actually also support 4K content. So you could directly play a 4K monitor onto directly connected to the device. So I could connect this directly to my TV Correct. and have it just um, access the 4K video. Yes, yeah, so we have built-in XBMC uh, on the device as well. So you could play it with XBMC all the 4K content on a XBMC player. Nice. And there's other apps that are available for? Yeah. Yeah, what kind of apps? What's so we have, uh, what's, I guess another unique thing about QNAP is that we're rich with applications. So okay. not just storage itself, it's also an application server for your own personal use or for businesses. Okay. So something like virtualization, uh, a lot of people get uh, like virtualization is enterprise level. How mm -hmm. do we do this on a Mac, on, my, on the QNAP device? So we have a virtualization, a hypervisor that enables you to actually install Windows, Linux, even Android OS on top of the QNAP to run as a virtual machine. So, so basically I have my virtual PC here. Um, I can connect it to my Mac and run a virtual PC? Yeah, just open up your web browser, connect it to the, the VM, and you have a, on your web browser, you work exactly like a Windows. How much storage? So this is an A-Bay unit uh, okay. device here. So each bay could actually go up to a terabyte. Oh, 64. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> and we also have the unit, because we have Thunderbolt, we actually could also expand it out as well. Oh. So we actually could do expansion using the Thunderbolt connection. Too. So you could have multiple units. Exactly. And they all would appear as one unit. Correct. Nice. Right. So you could stack it up to eight units. Right. That so we have a big, huge storage array. You're trying to do the math in your head, aren't you? You're I'm, I'm just wondering if he's leaving this here with us. Four times <laughs> eight is, yeah. A lot. A lot of storage. All yeah. right. That's very good. Now, what's the price on, uh, for this enclosure? Well, we haven't really uh, released a price point, uh, but we're uh, 
we're guessing it's around two thousand dollars in the ballpark range. Two thousand for the for the, 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 the unit, for the, the chassis, unit. with the explosive. But not with drives. Without drives. And right, the right. drives are are sold separately. Okay. So another good thing is that we support two and a half drive SSD drives okay. or even three and a half traditional hard drives. Okay. And do I have to have them all full? Can I have one? Uh, you can start off with just one okay. and build and as you go. Build as you go. Correct. Awesome. Very good. And the, the, do you recommend that they're all the same size, same ma uh, manufacturer? That's typically how we build okay. them. Okay, yeah. I mean, we actually support, uh, you don't have to be on the same drive. So another cool thing about a QNAP NAS is that you, you actually could set up multiple arrays. So in terms of RAID arrays. Okay. So, because uh, it has A bay. So you could do bay one and two mm -hmm. using SSDs and have rear as a storage volume one, and the next three, four, five, six, seven, eight as another storage, array five, as a volume storage. So separate volume for dedicated to whatever you want to do. If you want SSD to have higher speed application, you, can you do dedicate that. it for that storage server as well. So it's pretty versatile. Correct. Awesome. And it supports iSCSI, NFS, so it's also like a high uh, IP set as well. That's fantastic. Yeah. That's great. Uh, uh, where can people find you in the in the hall? Uh, we're at Salt Hall. We're at one 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 five five one six. Upper or lower? On the lower level. In the lower level. Cool. And Very online, good. we're at www.qnap.com. Awesome. Great. All right, James. Thanks, thanks so much for joining us. us. Great. Thank you for having us. All right. Absolutely. Thank you, and uh, we will be back soon again with NAB Show Live. And if you'd like to tweet at us, you can tweet with the hashtag. NAB show. NAB show. NAB show. And it might even appear here live. So go ahead and do it. <laughs>